NFL Week 4, Top 5, Bottom 5. We're going to rank our Top 5 NFL teams. We're going to rank our Bottom 5 NFL teams. Do we want to start with the Bottom 5? Let's start with the Bottom 5. All right, number 32, I, I don't know how similar we are on this. Yeah, we haven't cross-referenced it, but we'll see. I got the Cardinals at number 32. I got the Cardinals as well. Okay. Is there even anything that we, we need to discuss We don't need a lot this? of discussion, I don't think. Okay. Uh, number 31, I've got the Bills. I've got the Raiders, because the Raiders should be 0-4. They were given a gift. This is the last segment. This is bull crap. I think the Raiders have played a really tough schedule. Raiders can blow me. <laughs> John Gruden. I, how about this? I don't even have the Raiders in my in my bottom five. Your bottom five is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, they were they were a play away from winning in Denver. They were a play away from losing to the Browns. Uh, I mean, they they could have beaten the Dolphins on the road. That was a tough spot. Um, and then they just didn't look good against the Rams. But who has? I I just you know. All right, that's just me. The Bills, uh, look, they looked really good against Minnesota, and that has been a complete outlier. Like, I, well, if you well, look at the I stats, have, I have the Bills as thirtieth. I have the Bills next in line. Yeah, so because they are. It's really not bad. like they're a whole lot more it, than that. I, I just cannot, wanted to stick it to. I almost put Gruden and them at thirty-two. I cannot just to piss them off for the life of me. Figure out how the Bills won that game at Minnesota. If you go look at the stats it's, from last week, they get beat twenty-two to nothing by Green Bay. The week before the Minnesota game, they get beat at home. By, and, and Josh Allen starts to look a little bit better in the second half against the Chargers. But, I mean, my gosh, West Coast team coming East Coast for a noon game, whatever. Um, look, that Chargers team, they, they're they not real they, good. They could be on his list. Yeah, they're, they're not real good right now. Um, but they do have two wins, so, you know, whatever. Um, I, man. I'm not going by record. Either way. Uh, let's go number uh, number 30. You've got the, uh, the Bills. I got the Bills 30. Okay, yeah. Number 30 for me, I got the New York Giants. I know they got the win against the Texans. Yeah, but the Texans are garbage. I don't think the Texans they are They should be 0-4. Yeah, they, they, they should. The Colts are smarter than everybody else. The Giants, however, sands that Texans win. They haven't looked really good against anybody. They're, they're, they're a pretty bad team. Like they, they looked like they might be okay because of the Jacksonville game. I don't think Jacksonville travels well, but... I mean, at the same time, it's hard Jackson, to say when they've gone in Heinz Field the last two times and beat your Steelers. It obviously it doesn't take much. You just saw the Ravens and the Chiefs do that. So like, we're we're not talking like that's a hostile environment. Okay. Um, I was just no, I shock. just I don't. Uh, Eli still looks kind of like a statue. Like the offense, for whatever reason, cannot get clicking. The Saints showed that you can score on them. Yeah, but that Saints and, team might be the second or third best team in football. I don't know that they're the second or third best defense in football. Like the reason they're no, the second or third best team in football is because that offense can put up points that you can't match. Yeah. You should at least be able to score on them, and the Giants couldn't even do that. So I, thirty is the Giants for me. Uh, who's number twenty nine for you? Twenty nine. I got the Texans. They should be zero and four. The Colts want to keep Bill O'Brien around, so they gave him an L. This should a this should give you an idea of how many bad teams there are in the NFL. You don't have them on your list because I don't have the Texans you don't in my have bottom the, five. The should be zero and four and should be zero and four Raiders and Texans on your list. Nope, I can't believe that. Sure don't. You're giving them credit for those wins. That's garbage. Number twenty nine. I got the Jets. Oh no, 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 no. No, the Jets are way better than that. Why? Why are the Jets better than that? No, the Jets are better than that. A, they're a really young team. They are on a rise. So out of all these bad teams, yeah, now you say they're, they're on getting, a rise. They're getting but, points, but they have been on a steady decline from no, week one. No, they, but they've played really good defenses after week one. The Browns are a really good defense. The Jags are a really good defense. Those are really good defensive teams that they play. I, I understand. Against a rookie quarterback, he's going to look bad. When he starts playing some of these bad defenses, he's he's going to look a lot better. And that might, and that'll be later in the season. And, and there are plenty of bad defenses out there. There aren't but like five to seven good defenses in the entire NFL. Oh, agreed on that. So, so, so once they start getting some teams, he goes against these teams that aren't going to beat him up. He's going to be a lot better, and that team's going to be better. Who, uh, who you got at number twenty? Uh, what twenty? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. My last pick. Why? Yeah. Oh, sorry, twenty-nine was the Texans. Twenty-eight, the Buccaneers. I know they got two wins, but now Jameis Winston is taking back over the reins, and that could disqualify them all the way to the bottom. I completely, yeah, I, I agree with that. Jameis Winston at quarterback, 
That's a garbage football team. That explosive offense, gone. Absolutely it is. Uh, I've got the 49ers as 28. Okay. Without Garoppolo, uh, without McKinnon, like they, like they didn't I do believe against the Chargers. No, no, they sure didn't, and I think they're still going to be okay. But I don't think there's enough playmakers. I don't think there's enough uh, pizzazz. We to, see the bottom a lot different. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. There are a lot of bad teams in the NFL this year. Yeah. Like at least right now. And so the 49ers, yeah. I think, are going to be in a lot of trouble um, because they they there was hope when Jimmy G came in at the end of last Obviously. season. Remember they were like zero and. Ten? Yeah, they were before pretty, he came in. Well, they were pretty bad. They're pretty bad. They were they were pretty bad, and, and I mean they still showed life. And I'm not saying that they're not going to show life. I just think like they're really lucky that they're going to play the Cardinals this week. We get teams, but you get teams that are not on your list that have no life. They're just dead. I think the Texans actually have life. No, they're dead. As long as Bill O'Brien's the head coach, they're garbage. <laughs> team. Buccaneers, Jameis Winston, he's an anchor. Kill anybody. Let's move into uh, the top five. Top five. I bet we look really close to a like on this. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Number we'll one. See. Are we starting with one or are we starting with five? Let's start number five. Number five. My New England Patriots. All right, look. The game against the Dolphins, yeah, they looked absolutely fire. I'm still not ready to put them up there yet because I still don't necessarily believe in the Dolphins. That's fine. Like I, I just I I can't do it yet. That's I've got fine. I got the Titans at number five. They've been dead and buried before. Oh yeah, they absolutely. Will, I'm not saying they're not going to rise from the ashes. Like I'm not saying that. Uh, I've got the I got the Titans at number five. Okay. I think this is a team that is incredibly resilient. Their defense is I don't, next man I don't up. Don't dislike that. I'm just telling you, my Patriots are better than the Titans. Okay. Today. You're you're gonna hate that I left somebody out of this, but my, we'll we'll figure that out. My number four team. I consider making my number two team. My Chicago Bears. Best defense in football. Top five offense in football right now. Bam. You're not beating those guys. You're not going into Soldier Field and walking away with wins. It's not happening this year. All right. I do not have the Bears in my top five. I know you didn't. That's not who I was talking about, though. Well. But we'll get to that. Okay. Number four for me is the Baltimore Ravens. They, okay. Like, I think the Ravens are – they are a mature team. They are filled with veterans. That's, a, that's an easy they, way to say they're old. Okay. They have got some – Old teams look good the first four weeks. They've got some really good playmakers. All right. Like, I'm I'm all in on this. I, I think Flacco – You should be. They made your Steelers look really bad. You need them to be good. Because if oh, they're no, garbage – That is absolutely not If they're garbage, got them that means here. the Steelers are real bad. And, and I, I do think the Steelers are pretty bad. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I like I like the Ravens right now. They've beat up on two bad teams, so I'm just want to well, I just want to see some more. So so did the Bears. Nah, but the Bears were all the way in that Green Bay game. If Khalil Mack is not yeah, on but a how pitch, good is Green Bay? If Khalil Mack's not on a pitch count, going into Lambeau and taking a win from Aaron Rodgers is a big deal. That's still a big deal. Oh no, I agree. It's I agree. Still a big deal. All right, who you got? Who you got number three? Number three, my New Orleans Saints. That's the one that I don't have. You're, you're wrong on that because when the season is over, that I I need to see. I need this in my life. I need to see a Saints Rams NFC Championship game, and I need them to score a hundred. <laughs> That's all I need in my life. That's just it. I don't care what the over under is. I'm betting everything that I have that I'm willing to lose on the over. I can, I okay, I could understand that. I could understand that. Like I, I think. I feel like the Saints probably should have lost to the Falcons. I don't think the Giants are very good. Um, you know, and then week one still left a really bad taste in my mouth. You know, They probably should have lost to the Falcons who were given a touchdown that after everybody watched a replay saw it wasn't a touchdown, but for some reason they kept it a touchdown in the field. But they should have lost that game when that would have meant they would have beat them by two touchdowns and or it would have never went into overtime. That makes sense. <laughs> Who's your number three? Number three is the Cincinnati Bengals. Nah, I nope. like the Bengals a lot. Nobody's ridden the Bengals more than me, but they're not. They're not. And even you ain't got good. them in there. No, I I can understand it. I'm gonna guess we've got the same top two. I'm quite certain we have the same top two. We got the Chiefs at number two because they haven't been as dominant. But Patrick Mahomes is still. They don't have the defense. I think the Rams have. Not that the Rams' defense is good. They're a lot better than the Chiefs' defense. Yes. Yes, the Chiefs' defense is giving up. 
I mean, a lot. And then that's all I want to see is I want to see the Chiefs play one of the, either the Rams or the Saints in the Super Bowl, and then I'll bet all the money that I made on the first over on that over. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all I want to see in my life this year. We, we both got the Rams number one. You can't dispute that right now. The Rams look unstoppable currently. They, they are going to get beat by somebody because you don't go undefeated in the, in the NFL. So we both left out a team that a lot of people have as like a Super Bowl contender in the Jaguars. Do you believe mm. in Blake? Can no. that offense continue? Can the defense carry them? No. We're going to find out this week. Oh, we'll 100% find out. What do against the Chiefs. Like, is there anybody that can match up with Patrick Mahomes? And we're, I don't know that there is. We're going to find out this week if that defense can slow him down. Yep, we will. We will definitely find that out. All right. All right, that is our top five, bottom five of the NFL after week four.